Imagine we had a 6x12 chessboard. On one end, we have a special piece, the white Amazon. On the opposite end, we have the black king. Rather than play a normal game of chess, we are going to take turns moving the Amazon. The king will stay stationary. Amazons combine the powers of queens and knights. This game is all about capturing the king, however, so no cowardice is allowed. As such, we are going to restrict the movement of the Amazon to up, right, or upright. In other words, every move that we make with the Amazon, whether we are treating it like a queen or a knight, must make progress toward capturing the king. Here is the puzzle. You're going first. After that, we alternate who moves the Amazon. On each turn, we are obligated to move. We cannot keep the Amazon in its current space. Play continues until the king is captured, and whoever captures the king wins the game. Your goal is to design a strategy that guarantees you the victory. While you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Your hint for today is to use backward induction to solve this problem. That's a topic I cover in Chapter 2 of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. Are you ready for the solution? If not, here's a small hint. Your first move will be to take the Amazon to H1. Are you ready now? As I said with the earlier hint, the key to solving this game is to use backward induction. That means thinking about what the end of the game would look like and using that information to inform what are good and bad moves earlier on. For example, let's think about the squares where if you were to land on them, your opponent would immediately be able to capture the king. For starters, all of row 6 and column L fall into that category. The Amazon can move like a queen, and so if we are anywhere in row 6, the opponent can go directly to the king's square and capture the king. Same thing with column L. If the Amazon is anywhere in L, then she can go directly up to that king, capture the king, and win the game. As a result, you cannot leave the Amazon anywhere on 6 or L and expect to win. Of course, that's not the only thing the Amazon can do. She can go diagonally, which means placing the Amazon anywhere on the main diagonal that leads to the king is ultimately game over. Your opponent, on the following move, will be able to go directly to the king, capture it, and win. So you cannot place the Amazon anywhere on that main diagonal either. But the Amazon is even more powerful than that. Remember that she can jump like a knight. And as a consequence, both J5 and K4 are no-go zones. If you land the Amazon on either of those squares, your opponent will use it like a knight to capture the king on the very next turn. Now we can get to the backward induction. Do you see any squares where if the Amazon were on those squares, all legal moves would be to red squares? In fact, there are two, I5 and K3. To understand why, imagine that the Amazon were on I5. From here, she can go up one, but that's a red square. She can go anywhere to the right, but all three of those are red squares. She can go upright diagonally one space, but that's a red square. And finally, she can use her knight move to jump to k6. But once more, that's a red square. Every single move from i5 
will eventually lose the game. As a result, if you manage to place the Amazon into I-5 on your turn, you will win. But because I-5 is a winning square, we now know other places you cannot place the Amazon and expect to win. For example, think about the remainder of row 5 and column I. If you place the Amazon anywhere on that row or column, your opponent will be able to directly go to I-5. And while they will not be able to immediately win the game from there, what we know from the backward induction procedure is that ultimately they will emerge victorious. As a result, all of those newly shaded squares are no-go zones. We cannot place the Amazon anywhere there and expect to win. But that's not the only way the Amazon can get to I-5. There's also the diagonal that leads to it, and two spaces from which the Amazon can make a knight jump over to I-5. We've been neglecting K3 for a while, so let's go back to it. Just like I-5, if anyone lands on K3, they will ultimately win. As such, we cannot place the Amazon anywhere else on row 3 or column K and expect to win. That's because our opponent will reach K3 on the next turn and force us to lose. It also reds out the diagonal that leads to K3, meaning that J2 is gone. And we can also eliminate J1 based off of the knight move that will take you to K3. Now that we've done everything we can for I5 and K3, it's time to go backward another step. Do you see any unshaded squares from which all legal moves go to red squares? There are a few, but the critical one is H1. If the Amazon were to be moved here, every single move going away from it leads to a red square. If you go up, we only have red. If you go to the right, we only have red. If we go diagonally, we only have red. And with the two remaining knight's moves, you guessed it, we're going into the red. Consequently, if your first move of the game is to h1, you will secure the victory. Now you might wonder if there are any other ways you can win. It turns out, there aren't. The fact that h1 is a winning square removes everything else in row 1. From there, we need to think about what other squares would look like that are ultimately leading to just red squares. In fact, there are two. One such square is G2. All legal moves emanating out of G2 go to red squares. As a result, we cannot put ourselves into a position where the opponent can move the Amazon to G2. And that clears out the remainder of the second row. The other square is F4, and that clears out the remainder of the fourth row. And from here, we can see that the Amazon's first move only has one winning strategy. The only blue square the Amazon can reach with the first move is H1. And thus, with your first move, you must go there. Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.